can zoom out uh, with the hand and also with the hand tool. So we're going to jump into Illustrator and in Illustrator uh, there's many ways to zoom in and zoom out. First off you can use this tool right here which is a magnifying glass to click uh, and zoom in and zoom out. Or if you want to use the hotkeys um, you can also do the hotkeys too. Uh, and the hotkeys, if you hold down the spacebar command, that allows you to zoom in. If you hold down the spacebar command and alt, it'll give you a little negative, and then you can zoom out. Uh, along with those, if you just hold down the spacebar, that'll give you a way to use the hand tool to pan around uh, and everything. So spacebar, apple to zoom in, spacebar, Command and Alt to zoom out and just spacebar just to use the hand tool. So that's a great way if you don't want to use this tool over here. There's some other ways too. Uh, your other option is going into Window and using the Navigator. And in there you can zoom in and out using that tool as well, moving that around. So it's kind of whatever you feel like using. To group and arrange obje objects. So inside of Illustrator, uh, sometimes you need to take items and rearrange them or group more than one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and just try and make a checkerboard. So if I take this and duplicate it by holding down the Alt Option key and just place that in there. And then if I want to go ahead and group those two, because right now when I click on when it just selects one of them. So if I want to just select both of those by click holding and dragging and then if I right mouse click I can do an arrange or not an arrange but I can do a group and now wherever I select those I can group those together. So now I can go ahead and duplicate both of those and keep going and duplicating and I think I'll just group those again so I don't have to worry about uh, that. So if I just once again select all of them by click holding and dragging with my left mouse down, right mouse click on it and go to group. Now those are all one piece. Select those and arrange those and then go ahead and duplicate those. Once again I'm just holding down the alt key to duplicate those. And that will give me a nice little checkerboard that I can work with. And I think the last thing I want to do with this is just put change all the other colors of the boxes. So I could go in and try and put a bunch of boxes, but instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and make a box and just put it behind everything. So if I I don't want it to be yellow, so I'm going to double click to change my color. And then go ahead and flip that on there and then it's in front so I just need to get it behind there so click on it right mouse click to arrange and make sure you send it to the back and now I have my little checkerboard working for me this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the align tool with shapes so we'll just dive right in and create a brand new document <clears throat> and uh, I'm just going to show you how to create a bullseye using these tools. So I come down here to the ellipse tool. Uh, you just got to click and hold <clears throat> or the hotkey for that is L. And to create a bullseye let me just change some colors because I don't want to deal with that color. And start off with a big circle and then draw a slightly smaller circle, slightly smaller until I create a certain amount. <clears throat> and then I want to just change each of those colors slightly or just have every other one to be a different color. So I'll select one, change the color, or if you wanted to, you could also click on one, hold down shift, and grab another one, and choose change two at the same time. So to, I could eyeball this and try and make a little bit of a target, but I'm just going to go ahead and um, use the align tool. So I'll select those all together. You have to have two or more objects to use the align tool and if you go to window and align select that and that should pop up this little 
guy down here, although I do have it up here along my status bar too. And if I just choose the right combination, that should align it for me, and that will give me a little target to work with. So it's a really easy way to align things however you wanted to, to make whatever logo uh, you wanted to. So now we're going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool in Illustrator. So to do that, we just go ahead and open up that document we're just working with. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool to create some Olympic rings. So if I just come in and just grab one circle <clears throat> and to create um, another ring, just either duplicate or just create a s one slightly smaller. And then if I <clears throat> select both those and align those, so select both those and align those using the line tool. And to do the Olympic rings, the reason why I need to use the Pathfinder tool because if I start duplicating here, I need to be able to see through those. So in order for that to happen, um, I need to select both of those. Once I select both of them, uh, right next to the Pathfinder, or go to Window and Pathfinder there, you can pull that up and just start experimenting. Uh, if you just start clicking and if it, that didn't do what I want to do, just press uh, Command Z to undo that. Um, I'm going to try the next one and that one I believe did what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> so cut through there and now I have some rings that I can deal with so I could come here and just uh, duplicate those so I don't have to do it over and over just to make some simple uh, Olympic rings. So that's the Pathfinder tool. <clears throat> I can come in there and change colors of each of those to whatever they really are. But the Pathfinder grit tool is a great tool to basically cut cookie cut objects and make um, some simple little logos just out of uh, what you're working on there. That's the Pathfinder tool.